alaikum, everybody. Good evening. My name is Lina Abdurrahman Barakat. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, I am a Palestinian American Muslim woman, mother, activist, and uh, currently serving as the CEO of the Women Donors Network and Women Donors Network Action. This, thank you. Before I got there, I got my start here at IMPAC back in 2006 when I was, I started as an intern here and really got my first steps at understanding my role and my civic duty as a Muslim American in civic engagement and, and activism. So very, very appreciative of the IMPAC family for the work that they've done to continue to invest in young leaders and open the door for really robust conversations, some of which we continue to this day. Many of which, some of which, many of which we continue to this day. Um, many of you were part of our panel before this banquet on uh, we called the weaponization of women um, returning the alienable rights, return to alienable rights. And this was a very thought provoking conversation. I would admittedly, one, we were um, very excited but nervous to have with this community, but we felt really ready for as we explored what our duty was, our duty as Muslim Americans and, um, and Islamic uh, responsibility to protecting the most vulnerable in this country and connecting that conversation to how the precedent of what has happened in overturning Roe v. Wade and the precedent that sets in our democracy and threatening um, the health and safety of our communities, of our women, and most um, targeted by that, black and brown communities. I got to serve as the moderator um, for our fantastic panelists with Asifa Qureshi Landis. She is a US constitutional and Islamic law expert and a member of the Impact Leadership Advisory Board. We had Dr. Ghada Khan, who is the executive director of the American Muslim Health Professionals and Impact's very own Dr. Leila Mariotti, OBGYN doctor. We also put together an, an, a, a range of helpful resources that the IMPACT team will post on their website. So if you check out impactconvention.org slash, uh, sorry, impact.org slash uh, convention, you'll see the link to all of the resources to help further continue the um, knowledge and education on these really important topics. I think we have it right here on the screen, thank you. Thank you also to Connie Rice, one of our nation's premier civil rights lawyers uh, and leaders, who deeply understands that to work towards a multiracial, pluralistic democracy um, and our liberation, that our liberation is really bound by each other's. We have to be together. And as, as Asifa said earlier, unity does not necessarily mean uniformity, but we need each other to advance um, to, and fulfill uh, our nation's promise towards a democracy that serves all people. She also spoke about how the fight for the soul of our nation and the only way forward to that is to be successful in this struggle is by building the multiracial coalitions um, similarly situated with our brothers and sisters across racial, ethnic, and religious divides. And as the evening progresses, we look forward to sharing more about these themes uh, with you and our call to action coming out of this event. Now, I'd like to turn to, to take a few minutes to turn to this year's convention's theme, our sacred honor, fulfilling the promise of America. I wanna share with you why the IMPACT team and why we chose this theme and how it, and how it very much centers the work um, IMPACT is doing in this moment and all, on all of our behalf. On this 30, 35th anniversary of, of IMPACT's founding, we are reminded that IMPACT's work over many decades is rooted in the Islamic values of human security, mercy, justice, equity and equality, as we just heard in the Quranic, uh, recited in our Quranic recitation at the start of this program. This organization has been dedicated to not just serving those values and ideals on behalf of American Muslims, but on behalf of all communities um, and based on the founding principles of America itself to serve the life and liberty of all people. 
Almost 250 years ago, America's experiment in democracy began with the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Thomas Jefferson, along with 55 other signees, sealed the declaration with a mutual pledge to support it with our lives, our fortune, and our sacred honor. While, declaration, while the Declaration established America with the best of intentions to build a society through an aspirational vision of pluralism, America's promise for equality and justice for all has, remained, has been remained unfulfilled. For many of us and for many of our community, our nation's marginalized communities, including women, are often left in the fringes. In fact, Recent events in our country, including the shocking events in January 6, um, on the attack on our nation's capital, has revealed that our American democracy itself is, in a hang is hanging in a balance. To put it bluntly, it has become clear that there is a large group of people, namely white, with hold, who hold white supremacist values, in our country who would rather burn down America than share it with all of its citizens equally. These people are a threat, not just to American Muslims, but to black, Latino, Asian Americans, Jews, Sikhs, and all other such uh, minority communities, including all of which include women, from an ideology that is a direct threat to their existence as Americans and the ideals of America itself. As such, IMPACT has pledged that as American Muslims, it is our sacred honor to uphold American and Islamic values and to ensure that American democracy not only survives, but thrives while living up to its founding ideals. And given the critical importance of this time and the work of the work that IMPACT is doing, I want to encourage all of you to, to, to give to the organization and invest, continue to invest in strengthening its foundation and capacity for future generations. Your support now is needed much more than ever and, and paves the way for a much stronger, uh, much stronger capacity for coalition building and a pluralistic democracy that we are all striving for.